Hello and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes 5, 5 Grand Arena. To round out this season, we are facing Tau. They are from the Far East Fan Club with 800,000 legacy score. I uh, like that 800,200 points, uh, 11.7 million GP. And they have... They attack JMK, they kill Leia up north. While we have to... Of course, move my face again real quick. Uh, we've got Pelerin, Darts from Ophidian. Leia and Ray out up north and then down south we've got Java Phasma, Vader, and Queen Amadala. So go ahead and move myself back over there. And here we go. Um well, here we'll start with Vader, why not? Alright, so they got stacking offense and speed when people die, health steal, offense, health protection, accuracy. I've spent several minutes now trying to decide on what I wanted to do against Queen Amidala because I don't have General Skywalker on offense, obviously, so that makes things a little difficult. And um, Leia's not an option, but she's on defense as well. So I was like, I spent spent several minutes, several, well, I don't know how many minutes actually, I spent a, a little bit trying to figure out what I wanted to do. So, I think I have an idea, but like, I'm not holding my breath on making that the plan yet. Okay, getting almost nuked out of existence isn't very cool, no. but, uh, let's go after Thrawn. No. Good. Now we can go after Maul and Darth Vader. Uh, I don't know what to really do here. Well, he's already an ult, so that was quick. Um, and we already have max stacks of Ancestral Resolve. Ridiculous. I really want to turn to kill them all. Or not. Okay. I should have given that to Bo. Whoops. Oh well. That's fine. Maul and Royal Guard are dead. Now it's just for the Vaders. Time for the Vaders. Uh, let's heal yes. Kaz because he's been getting mulched over there. And since we don't have uh, armor, we can't throw Beskar on him, so... Let's call Hook-Ton, Mandalore... That was beautiful. Okay, that's not very cool, but whatever. We'll go and do this. No. And Bon Voyage. Was that max or close to max? I don't know. Um. Anyways. So, uh, we've got Armor Pin and Crit Chance. And Crit Voids and Offense being boosted. And whenever they stun someone, they gain speed, off, speed up and offense up for two turns. And expose the enemy. We're gonna go with Wampa. Uh, what do we want to give Wampa is the better question. Um, probably this because potency up and tenacity up should help us. I say should because you know, should is a very heavy word there for Wampa. Okay. Go ahead and slam. Roar. I guess we gotta go after Foss because he's taunting. Let's do another roar. Nice. Nice. My biggest worry here, honestly, is these two over here. Phasma doesn't really worry me as much, but it's OG Kylo and Fox that worried me the most. So we're just going to go all on Kylo real quick. Or just kill Phasma along the way. Whatever. I'll take it. Um. Okay, now for the Queen Amidala team that I'm not sure how this will go. So, 
They've got max health, max protection being boosted. The disruption cron, the pal and Obi-Wan thing, armor pin, offense, and crit damage all being boosted. Because I need to save Bane for dealing with um Sorry, I'm trying to like look for the Sith and talk at the same time. Since I need to save Bane for dealing with their um I don't have Dooku on offense, so I guess we'll have to go with this route. Uh, I can never get my words out of my mouth. Jesus Christ. Uh, God, I can't. Leia, that's who I'm thinking of. We're going to go with Treya. I don't know how well this is going to go, so bear with me as we try to figure it out. Uh, let's do this real quick. I know Qui-Gon, not Qui-Gon, Paddle, Obi-Wan is going to counter. Uh, um, I guess we'll isolate Obi-Wan? I guess. Let's go for Qui-Gon real quick. Go ahead and do this. Do that. Nice. We killed one. We killed one. That's good. Uh, it's basic Barris. I wonder if we're going to see Barris data crons or Padawan Obi-Wan crons in 3v3. I know it will still probably be Padawan Obi-Wan, let's be honest, because that would be the better option for Queen Amidala teams as opposed to... Uh, Barris. Okay, I don't know why we're not getting any cooldowns increased, but let's go ahead and kill Obi-Wan. Uh, let's hit Padme real quick. I guess we'll isolate her next, maybe. Um, just fun regular more of going through that. Okay, well now she's stealth, and everyone is... Oh, it's because of uh, the fact that they can't be cooldown increased. Forgot about that. Okay. Um. Ideally, we isolate her, but that's proving to be a bit of a fucking headache because they just keep. I'm not getting any anywhere. It seems like with my cooldowns. Uh, let's throw that at her, maybe. Good, we got an ability block. Basic Queen Amidala. Let's see what this does. Nothing. A bit of a waste of a turn then. And she's already got her back, of course. Uh, that's not going to do anything. But that's fine. Do that. Do this. I'm just trying to kill Plo Koon real quick just to get him out of the way. Ideally, you know, Barris would be up next, but also it's a relic seven Barris. What the hell? Um. Okay, well we can hit Plo now. Hit Padme. Let's do this. I don't want to do the Force Crush because I don't want to give them more uh, heals over time. There we go. Okay. Gee, Christmas. This team is just a pain to deal with in terms of uh, just killing them. They take forever to get rid of. Fuck you. I could probably just hit auto because now that um, Queen Amidala and Barris are gone, they don't get any fancy dancy, you know, cooldown immunity and healing over. So, well, that was interesting. Didn't honestly expect that to work. Um, so, I almost said Qui Gon Jamba. 
has protection of accuracy, protection, health speed. Not health steel, but uh, whatever. I don't imagine that scene would have worked if they had higher relics on Obi Wan and Qui Gon, though. I feel like it would have been more of a disaster if they did, because they could have nuked out my characters pretty quickly, if we're going to be completely honest here. These high relics on Obi-Wan and... Uh, I don't want Obi-Wan and... Uh, Master Qui-Gon are needed anyways for the raid, so I imagine a lot of people are going to start doing that. So... But you know, fair. Uh, let's do this. There we go. Now for Boba Fett. At least that is if they don't kill anyone in the process. Okay, they're gonna kill Pucks, unfortunately. Go ahead and poke Boba, why not? Good, he's dead. Now for Lando. I imagine I'm gonna lose Hux just because of the fact that he's got thermal detonators on him. And I wonder if they're going to keep attacking or not, because they killed... Like I said, they they have attacked. They haven't continued, so I wonder if they're waiting to see what I do. Who we got in the back zone? Okay, so that'll be fun to deal with. Okay. Let's go deal with Norse zone real quick before I forget about it and use something else. Uh, Ray, 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 Ray. We got Holdocron, Hellsteel, Health, Offense. Same old shit, just a, another round of Grand Arena. I mean, pretty soon they're going to be losing it anyway, so, you know, I'll be happy about that whenever it's gone. Because I am not a fan. Not a fan. But it is what it is. And then we've got to figure out the whole freaking matrix of Datacrons for the new set. So that'll be fun. And by fun, I mean quite annoying. Because, like, some characters have... I think, like, every single character that has a Datacron to set has more than one level 9 rule. So, it feels like you'll have to go for the level 9 rolls and then backtrack for the level 6 rolls if you don't get what you want. Just to ensure you get the character role that you want, kind of deal, you know? So, it'll be interesting to see. And by interesting, I mean annoying, but I mean, you know. Good. I, I did what I wanted to do. I got fucking JT. Wait, did I not click? Seer, did I click on. I guess I clicked on my sister by accident. Whoopsie daisies. I was trying to go for Seer because she needs the health, but I mean, whatever. It's fine. It happens. Um, go with a lightsaber throw. I knew it wasn't going to kill her, but that's fine. I'm actually shocked that Soka did. If I had, if I had been able to click on Seer, I would have gotten Max Banner there. Oh well. Um, well, this is a kind of a garbage datacron, just crit avoidance accuracy, some other stuff. Oh, I do have Dark Trooper Rocket, and I guess I could have done that weird... Oh, wait, not Dark Trooper. I could have done a weird Thrawn team with uh, OG Gideon against that Padme team, apparently. But, again, I don't know how it would have worked against it because it had the... Uh, protection Disruption Cron and uh, Catalan Obi Wan and Master uh, Qui Gon. So, don't know. Too late to worry about it. Moving along, anyways. Well, that's not very nice. I just wanted to kill Obi Wan. Let me have my moment. Well, at least we got through the second wind. Let's go and do this again, why not? Good. I really wonder how well... I know people have been questioning how well Bane will do against 
GL's like Leia again now that he'll be losing his Datacron pretty soon. I think it'll be a little more dicey. I imagine we'll see people come up with like answers pretty quickly once the new Datacron set actually becomes more readily available to farm. Like set 16 is what I mean. So uh, yeah I don't know. But uh, Dark Trooper Mop getting 191% armor pin and extra max health protection. That is quite a bit. But yeah, back to my train of thought with Bane. Who knows how well he'll do, let's be really honest here. He will probably suffer a little bit. How much? Well, remains to be seen. Now, is this dicey with how much armor pin they have? Oh, yeah. But, I mean, we have... How much do they have? 198, 191. So, we still had barely enough defense from the Datacron of ours to uh, kind of offset it. However... It's gonna be hard to offset dying if I don't get a turn. <laughs> Let's do another one. Nice, okay. Well, even though Gideon dodged doesn't mean shit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Let's go ahead and deal with uh, these teams back here real quick. Um, Saw has armor pin, crit avoidance, offense. Okie dokie. I want Sith. I want Scoundrels. Uh, droids. Droids, 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 droids. I really hope they don't completely neuter the B2 leadership in the raid because well, that was a large chunk of my damage in this last raid. And if I lose it, I will be a little upset. Will I be mad? No, not really because, you know, that's how CG wants to balance things out. But like, it would heavily affect my teams right now because I don't have my gun that's completely done yet. I don't have Queen Amidala fully up and running yet. I mean, I've got... I'm getting Padawan, Obi-Wan, Ohm close to being done to 7-star, but, like, close and done are not the same thing. Um, and in the Gungans, I'm almost done with uh, Boomadir. It should be 7-star by the time my guild starts to raid again, so... It's just... It's gonna be a headache. Uh, let's see. Stacking offense and speed. We need a daze, health, protection. But yeah, um, theoretically, I should have him. The Gungan's ready to go. Theoretically, because you never know with the drop rates what they're gonna do. If they're gonna be like, oh, you want me to drop shards for you? Nah, nah, nah. Like, I think he's a couple shards short of. Uh, um, six star now for Obi Wan, but then for Gungan, like I said, it's ninety something out of a hundred to seven star, so it'll definitely be ready. But then you know, I still gotta get Queen Amidala geared up. I gotta get uh, I gotta wait for Master Qui Gon to go on to the fucking node. I cannot. I do not want to even imagine where. He's going to be thrown. People, I know someone in one of the guilds in the Alliance said that he think, they think that uh, it'll be a fleet hard node, like a 20 energy, which would not surprise me. Would it annoy me? Oh yeah, because, god damn, that'd take forever to get done. Ideally, they throw him onto Cantina, like they did with Paddle on Obi-Wan, but will it happen? No. Unlikely. Because why would they want to give us two of the biggest keys to this uh, new raid puzzle to make it easier for us to score instead of waiting X amount of months to actually get him farmed up and shit, you know? I don't know. I, I don't know. We will see. Um, Alright, so the Finn team doesn't have the everyone else drop below 100%, 100% health data crumb. They do have 63% health steal, which is annoying. Um... Like, where is my Sith Empire? Nope. I really do worry about how <laughs> my 3v3 season is going to start now because the fact that I may end up winning this round. So I'll be... I mean, I'll be 4 or 5 for the whole season of 5v5. But that doesn't really mean deadly squat whenever we're going to still have who knows how big of a freaking skill crunch going to 3v3. Ideally, they just don't do it for this 3v3 season. Will, will that happen? What? 
Will they not do it? I mean, they probably will, let's be honest. They want to keep people out of Kyber 1. Um, because Kyber 1 got too big and all that, and the crystal income is really good for the players, but not good for them, because then we can use our crystals on stuff we want and not have to panic, spend money to buy crystals or whatever. So, you know. That's just my thought on it. Uh, let's go ahead and kill Finn. Because I don't like his damage immunity crap that he gets. <coughs> go ahead, Wild Lightning. It's so uh, need to get rid of that. Hellsteel. Hellsteel. Healing immunity on, a. Uh, there we go, on Revan. There we go. Another one down, another one down. Now for OG Poe. Oh, I thought that killed him. Apparently did not. Alright. That zone's cleared. Now for Kellerin. Oh, Kellerin. What do we want to do with you, buddy? Let's see what your Datacron is. Stacking offense and speed. Extra protection and offense. The 100% health, 100% offense roll. I guess we'll just JML it. Might as well. We'll have one last hoorah with the Calcestis Cron as well. Because all of these will be gone. I mean, I already scrapped basically every single Datacron from this set, from the outgoing set, set uh, 14, so I can start working on set 16. I have a Barris Cron, and I have a level 6 or 7 Cron as well. I don't remember what stats it I can't remember if it was... No, it's a Tank Cron, that's what it was, so... I'll, uh, I'll keep the tank roll, and then we'll keep rolling it up to uh, level 9 to see who we can get. Ideally, I'd get Gar Saxon, or like the Gamorian Guard or something. Well, am I holding my breath on that? Oh, absolutely not. But one can have hope. But at least pretty soon, Keller and Beck teams won't be as potent. I imagine we'll see him return to being a supporting character for the Qui-Gon Jinn teams, though. Just because he's still a really good character. It's just without his Datacron to spread all these stacks of, uh... If I can click on him. The Padawan lessons, you know. He's not going to be as potent, but he'll still be a nuisance. Because of his whole, A, if you inflict healing immunity on my team, they get to dispel it and put whatever on them. I can't remember what it was. Now let's throw the lightsaber around. Okay. Let's keep rolling. Okay. Well. Okay. Uh, bounty hunters, bounty hunters. Bounty hunters. Bounty hunters. I hope this guy attacks relatively soon. Will they? Probably not. Would it be nice? Yeah. I guess also having tenacity up helps net, uh, negate the whole... Um, getting a building blocked from that AOE of, uh, the Marauders. <laughs> so an IG. I know some people like to undersize these t squads, that way they can get more, not squads, but fleets. That way they can get more banners, especially if they're trying to banner finish. But, I just... I don't. <laughs> Obviously, I don't. Um, let's avoid hitting the Y-Wing to death, because I'd rather not give them counter attack. Damn it. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and heal Xanadu, because I imagine they'll do that. It's fine. Not ideal, but it's fine. Because I think we should have our ultimate whenever we get our turn. I think we should, but I don't honestly remember how many... Uh, how close we were. 
There we go. Okay. Alright, let's go for the Marauder. Apparently gives me damage. Well, there goes their um panic heal revive thing. Second life, whatever you want to call it. There we go. And now for the wild. All by its lonesome. I knew there was an empire fleet I could use. I just can't remember who it was outside of basically these five. I didn't know if we... I mean, we... I, ideally, we don't need Gauntlet. But on the off chance we need Gauntlet, it'll be there to help give us some protection. Probably. Let him call in the defender. Oh, get some more stacks, please. I need more buffs so I can steal them from you in a second. Thank you. Damn, we're getting like no damage out. Thanks to that crit hit immunity. Ah, damn it. We were so close. What the hell? Pawn Silver? What the hell? Okay, that's weird as hell to see, but I mean, whatever floats your boat, man. That was odd. I don't know, I just thought it was weird to see Consular with the freaking. Um, separatists of all people. Just a weird, 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 weird thing to do. I'm not gonna judge him, but I mean, like, it was just odd. Let's go ahead and isolate their stupid Millennium Falcon. Pew, pew. Let's go ahead and call in the lovely Tidagger. It's going to blow up your hangers. That way, whenever you try to bring out the comeuppance, it just goes up in the smoke. Okay, you're not going to call in the comeuppance. That's incredibly odd and rude, but I mean, you know. Whatever. Didn't matter anyways. Wow, that's the highest score I've had this entire season. Wow, okay. Now he's gonna wait to see if they do anything else. Alright. So we won. 1815 and 1760. I know during the recording they had started attacking and they had dropped on JMK. They left freaking Ahsoka and General Kenobi left, so I wonder what they used against my JMK team to fail. It'll be interesting to see. Did they drop anything else? Not north. I think maybe something in the back zone. Oh no, it was a. Uh, I can't see it, but hold on, we'll move myself real quick. Uh. They dropped on Adrad and then uh, Dash, and I can't even see it anyways, so. Anyways. But yeah, they dropped battles, is what it is. And, well, at least we got some wins this season. Not the best season in the world, but it happens. Anyways, if y'all enjoyed, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys later. I will catch you guys later. Sorry, I didn't mean to yawn so much.